Hello everyone and welcome back! In this section of the course we are going to cover one of the most important components of our serverless architecture. We are going to talk about Firestore security rules. The security rules are the final ingredient that enable security in our serverless architecture. In order to better understand what are security rules meant to be used for, let's do a quick status of the security features of our application. So as we have seen in the last couple of lessons, we have added authentication to our application. But it's important to remind ourselves that authentication does not mean security. Just because we can uniquely identify a user, it does not mean that our application is secure. For example, in the current state of the application, I could sign in here with Google with just about any Google account that I create by, for example, creating a new Gmail account and using that Google account, I would be able to edit here our data. For a large number of applications, that's not what we want. We want instead to only give access to the application to a list of previously known users, a white list of users. Also, inside those users, we can have multiple levels of permissions. Maybe any user can read the data, but only admin users can modify the data. So that's what we will be implementing in our application in this section using security rules. As we will see in the end of this section, it's perfectly possible to have an application such as this one secure while still writing data directly from the front end using Angular Fire and without having to implement any server code to ensure that security. What enables this are the Firestore security rules. Let's have a look at the current set of rules in our application. So switching back here to our Firestore console, we are going to click here on the database tab and from here we are going to select the rules tab right next to the data tab. Here we will see the list of current security rules that are applied to our database. These rules were created when we first set up our project and as we can see here on this error message in red, currently all the documents in our database are both readable and writable by anyone, whether the user is authenticated or not. We installed this initial set of security rules just to get started quickly with our development environment, but we should not use these rules in production. As this error message clearly says, anyone could still modify or delete our data with this current set of rules. So let's start by understanding what is a security rule. A security rule is a declarative rule written on this syntax that allows us to secure our Firestore data. We can define who gets to access what parts of our database and we have several levels of access. Now in the next couple of lessons we are going to break down completely this syntax here but right now I would just like to give you a quick example of how to use these rules. Let's say that we would like to make all our data read only so anyone can read the data but nobody can write new data or update existing data. We could enforce those rules in the following way. We would allow anyone to read the data and this is an abbreviation for the following syntax allow read if true and on the other hand, we would prevent everybody from writing data. So this could be implemented with the simple rule allow write if false. So this condition here would always evaluate to true. This condition here would always evaluate to false. So with this set of rules, we would make our data essentially read only. Let's try this out. We are going to publish this new set of rules using here the publish button. Now that our new security rules are installed, let's try them out. We are going to switch here to a larger tab and we are going to reload our application. So as we can see, we can still read the data. So our data is still accessible to unauthenticated users. However, if we try to edit here the data by trying to change here, for example, the title of the first course of the list and hit save, we are going to get here an error in our console, which says Firebase error missing or insufficient efficient permissions. So what happened here? What happened is that AngularFire prepared a data modification request here in our browser client and then AngularFire sent this data modification request to the Firestore server. The Firestore server then did the match between the request and the current set of security rules and it found that this particular rule here would prevent the request from going through. So the server has denied this request and we got that error on our front end. 
as you can see, security happens in a very similar way to a typical REST API, where we are going to secure the request on the backend, but with the added advantage that we did not have to write any server component ourselves. We just had to define here a declarative set of security rules that the server is going to enforce on our behalf. Let's then understand in detail the security rules syntax, and we're going to write a set of rules that is going to secure our application. In the end of this section, you will have an application that is secure and only accessible to a previously known whitelist of users. All the whitelisted users are going to be able to read the data, but only admin level users are going to be able to edit the data. Let's then get started with our security rules deep dive. 